Palpatine protection. Mm. These four Spanish towns of Portmore, to Kingston, to the Caribbean, to love and hip hop, to conquering the entire globe on her birth certificate, it is Grace Hamilton. But we know her and love her as Queen, the melon goddess, Spice. Everybody keep the applause going, please, for the beautiful black queens, the beautiful black queens, and the queen herself coming red out. And to all the entertainers here tonight, thank you for your presence. To all the media houses, and as I said, I w to ensure. Make some noise for the Queen's voice! The melanin goddess herself in the flesh and in her original black skin. She loves the skin that she's in. But of course, when she dropped the photograph on October 22, it was to capture your attention. And indeed, she discombobulated the internet and the world having us take a deeper look at ourselves and address the black hypocrisy that has been going on for years. If you rate Spice, and you rate the work, you rate the diva, you rate the goddess, make some nice, no man. Absolutely amazing. And isn't she looking ravishing? Isn't she looking gorgeous? Can you make some noise, please? And we're gonna be having the press each member will be allowed one question. So please think about your question carefully. And we know that Spice is blessed with intelligence. And so she will be candid and answer your questions. Of course, we will ask that everything be done in a capsule of decency and everything with respect and love. But to the press, who are the persons just raise your hand and I will point at you, introduce yourself, say which media house you're from, and then you may ask Spice your question. What Spice would you like to speak? Scan them! <laughs> you know, so that's not working on Palestine. Nah, lie. Queenie, oh my God. All right, let's start, please. Let's get our first question. Tingle. Need a microphone for Tingle? Absolutely amazing. Microphone. Coming, coming. Rastingle in the front here, please. Take all the photos you want. Go live. Hashtag black hypocrisy. No more of it. If you love the skin that you're in, make some noise. If you're black and proud, make some noise. If you love the skin that you're in, make some noise. And them something that we are talking about. Me go fluffy settings, spice got black people settings. And them things that we are talking about. The for them it hurt up and them cramp and paralyzed. Take some panadol and lie down. You understand? Because we're here to stay and we're not going anywhere. Tingle your question. All right, so I'll do it. Sure, go ahead. What's your right, name and your media house? RVTV Satania, congrats on your Thank you so much. next step. Your title track number seven, it's at number seven, captured, yes. speaks to you breaking free. Would you like to elaborate for me? Most definitely. Um, the title track is called Captured. Um, that song is definitely dedicated to my record company, VP Records. And I dedicate it to them because I've signed a contract with VP Records for over 10 years now. And it was supposed to be five album deals. And up until this day, they've never released an album with me. So they are not allowing me to showcase my talents to my fans. They, they want an album. They can't get an album. I want to put out music. And that's how I feel. I feel captured. And so I wrote that song from my heart. Um, captured, you know, strictly directed to my record company. That's how I feel. I feel captured. All right. Thank you so very much. Next press uh, person. Media practitioner. Fuse from Zip 103 FM. Uh, with the entire stunt around the uh, song Black Hypocrisy, do you believe that the song or the message is lost or it's 
it captured the world, but would you remember it for the stunt or the message? I'd have to correct you using the word stunt. It was never a stunt. It was, um, it was a message, and it was done to raise awareness to colorism. I don't believe that it was lost. I mean, it will fly over some people's head. But the fact that I've received so many apologies from black women themselves who were calling me black and discriminating me because of this, my complexion that I'm in, I don't believe that it, it was lost. Because like I said, I mean, if you follow my page at Spice Official, I posted um, an apology from a young woman who in the past told me that, lads, and her, and her words were, I'm not telling lie, Spice look good, but you want dropping, I want poops of bleach. She could have grown up herself and look better. And I'm not telling lie. And she continued to discrim discriminate me by my complexion. And um, when I read that apology, I cried. Because little did she know that some of the words that she spoke, them semi black till me shine, till me look dirty. And it's the only line in life that will ever hurt me. Because it never come from a Caucasian, trust me. This a black colorism, the hypocrisy. Those were words that she spoke. And so that video she made was over three years. And she remembered those lines. She remembered saying it. And she apologized for it and I never forget and so I don't feel like the message was lost I believe that a lot of people are definitely looking into themselves and they are definitely receiving the message that it doesn't matter what shade you are we are all considered one word black amen thank you fuse next media house please gentlemen at the front here sir your yes. name and your media house Steve James Reggaeville United Reggae. Hello, sir. Um, New Star 93 Real Rock. Yeah, so back in the 80s, you know, music or reggae music. Women never bought it, so I wish Christian this is not hard to get this done. I'm not good on a man who would tell him about the thing about Brad's coming up. Music had a cause, right? Music had a cause. Yes. Yeah, Rastafari had a cause. Apartheid had a cause, right? No, you bring back that same cause of racism. Oh, you going? Oh, you going convert that to the youths them of today? Not just by the video. How oh, you going try to instill it in the youths, the artists, their mind? Right? How oh, you going instill that? Not only classism, classism, and colorism. How oh, you going convert that? Not just love it, love what you're doing, but. Conversion. The question you asked, I noticed one word. In each of your sentences, you said, you. How are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? I can't do it. We, it should be the word. Because we have to do it. And we all have to do it together. So if you are a person who used to go on Instagram and discriminate another black sister or discriminate something that she's doing, that's what you need to stop. So we all have to do it together. And since that question, and I'm using the word we, let me start by saying colorism starts from within the home. So you have even mothers that is doing it. She have two child, two separate father. She call one bad ear and one good ear. And she use the one word. Lord, you're black like your papa, you're black like your father. We need to stop that. You go to school and a child have real Negro hair. Picky, picky head, girl. We need to stop that. So I, to answer your question, I can't do it by myself. We all have to do it together. Good job. We all have to do it together to advance the welfare of the whole human race. Next question, next to Media House, please. BOJTV, go ahead, sir. All right, so Spice, he asked me to ask. Well, he asked me to ask. He said, could you ask it on behalf of BOJTV? So it's not Ari this time, all right? <laughs> he wants to know, so Rampin' Shop Drop. 2009. Yes, that was quite amazing. I mean, collabing with Cartel. Mm -hmm. No, Black Hypocrisy, on your own, not a collab, did you think you would have had such a reach? I, I paraphrased it for him. <laughs> the question is a bit confusing. I'm not sure what, what the question has to do with Rampin' Shop or... I'm, I'm, I'm well, not sure. I think sure. he's Can saying you? when Rampin' Shop came out, right? It was she did it went viral, viral, it was a big hit. Okay, but that's that what you're trying to say. that cartel. Okay. But now on your own, you didn't right. expect the same. You know what? When I dropped the picture, I wanted to capture just Jamaica because... The colorism, what I'm attacking, you know, is what I know about. I don't know what... We are not the only black um, race. There's other races that is experiencing the same thing. 
but I can't speak out for them. I have to speak out for what I know. So when I dropped the picture, first I thought that it would just mingle up in a Jamaica and that we would talk among ourselves and then I'll grab everybody's attention, you know, to display my message. But little did I know that it would grab the world's yes. attention. And so, to be honest, I really never expect what happened. <laughs> I really never expected it to go. Effect. Exactly. <laughs> I never expect it at all. So, little did I know that it would have been so huge. Next to Media House, please. Thank you. Did she answer your question, sir? BOJ TV, are you satisfied? Good job. Next to Media House, please, you could just raise Some your hand. The fans, them not ask nothing. Yeah, I'm going to open it up to the them. fans. Okay, okay. The fans who have a question. That's them, my confessy. My people, can... them, my fans, them. Yeah. 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 So, yes, sir, go ahead, please. Spies. Um, this is I'm Charles Hyatt from Good News Jamaica. Hi, Charles. Hi. Uh, so you've been a trendsetter for many, many, many years. Is this a rebranding of Spice to Hello. start to talk about social commentary as far as uh, picking up uh, just empowerment and all those type of things? With You've started with the Grace Hamilton uh, Foundation. Now you've dropped this very, very important topic on social commentary. Is it a new um, branding of Spice? You know what, I wouldn't say it's a new branding because I don't want you to feel that I'm going to stay there and continue singing reggae song. I'm going to keep on singing my local slap song them, to be honest, because that's what the people love me for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the people and my fans love me for. So I wouldn't say rebranding. But I must say that there's a growth in everything and I'm able to attack different you know areas and so that was just one of them a lot of times people say oh spice always singing this type of song or that type of song but the truth is that's what my fans love me for and that's what keeps me traveling and that's what keeps my fan base growing but if there comes a time thank you but there comes a time if i see something that needs to be addressed you know i need to address it and this is something that was really needed it's been swept under the rug and i as a black woman myself i just felt the need to attack it at this time the multifaceted spice. And of course, the men up here. Wow. Black people hypocrisy. I'm looking. They're going to trick me. They said, I can't kneel back. Spice, hold off for Vanessa now. Drop a song. Hold on, hold off for Vanessa. We're starting there. Look how she wants to drop a song. Right in the big of the people in question. I came out and I sat in my chair and I was trying to behave myself and Miss Kitty was the one. That's what I like. I didn't do anything. Call she do it. I just love the black men right here. Can I uh, can I appreciate my kings? Can I, ladies, if the man them body would bust on Miss Kitty Black now. Come back queen, sit down, sit down queen. I can yes. sit down. Yes queen, amen. All right, and the fans who would like to ask a question, yeah, man, include please the fans, then. come up to the front and get the microphone just to or raise bring your the hand, mic to them. or we'll bring the mic to you as well. Cara is here, looking so fluffy and beautiful. Hey, Cara, how you doing, girl? The most beautiful, right, and anyone can Hello. Have. Hello, so let Cara me Wilson. So all the fans who would like to ask a question, and if there are any artists here, I see Pampute, I see a number of persons here. If you have questions, you too can Pampute come to the Pampute is here, big up my black sister. Yep. Yes. Am I a real sister that for life? Fluff it to the world. Yes. Pressure the skinny girl. <laughs> Sorry, did I say that? Yeah. Fans, the fans. Where are the fans? I need a fan question. Is this the fan? Right here. Oh, a fan is right here. Cara. Pampute is here. Pampute is here. Make some noise of Pampute. Give it up for Pampute. Fan question. No, but she's not fluffy again. We are fluffy spice. So, so we're doing that. 
fancy. You're the fan? Oh, you're tick same way. No, I'm not tick my shoes, but I'm tick me fluffy the same way. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> yeah. Ma <laughs> Thanks so much for coming to everybody. And that is what supporting is all about. And guys, listen. As people of the Negroid race, it is important that we support each other. It is time we stop the division and stop the old slave versus field slave mentality and unite because divided we are going to fall. We have to come together and that is what a lot of races have over us. They bond together, they bind together, they support each other and if we are to succeed, we have to do the same. All right, young lady who is a fan, say your name please. Um, my name is Sarah Philly, and I am from Toronto. Hi, Sarah. Hi. You're flying. I am a big fan of you. Thank you so much for I being a fan. I appreciate no that. No problem. Sorry, I'm recording at the same time. I wanted to know, um, I am a Love & Hip Hop fan. I wanted to know if you experience any colorism issues with the crew and cast of Love & Hip Hop. Have you ever experienced that as a new Jamaican onto the show? You know what? I'm not going to lie. Thank the cast you. The cast members from Love and Hip Hop, they are really genuine in lies. They like me. They want me to teach them look at Jamaica and something. They want me to carry them go eat Aki and Salfish. They love our culture. And so I wouldn't say I've experienced any form of colorism from any of the cast members within Love and Hip Hop um, Atlanta franchise. They're all very nice. Thanks Except you. for... <laughs> da, 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 da. Boy, when we see all the girl, you know, yes, I would actually know it. She know it. We want to call the phone. We want to call the phone and take away our passport. She know it. Fan questions? So fan I can questions? Go in the fan? Who's Do here? Okay, here's a fan over here. A male oh, Don't, don't give Perry. Perry the mic. Do don't. not give the mic to Perry. But he's a fan. Cara, please. Oh, you want to? Okay. Do okay. not bring the mic to Perry. Are we, are we going to give Perry Black boy Trevor? Perry's not, a, Perry's not a fan. He's a stalker. Every day I'm there for my phone. Every day in the phone, that's not a fan, he's a stalker. Oh my god, call the police. Is there, are there any police here? Here is a <laughs> Okay, bad boy Trevor, go ahead, up, please. Up. Spice, want to say congratulations on the song they have. Thank you so we much. My side of the world, love it. My side of the world? What's your side of the world? What's your side, side, of, the What's your side of the world? Unleash. Unleash what? No, I don't understand. Oh, 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 the slave masters used to have the slaves. And I like what you said about we. Because when slaves used to talk to your broken master, would they say, we sick, boss? If boss sick, is we sick. If boss hungry, we hungry. So right now, Spice, we black, we black. So broken master say, black slave go do this. Boss sick, go do that. Boss hungry, we hungry. No, Spice, just like you say, we black. Thank you. Thank you, Trevor. I don't know what's Trevor's side. And me, Normally, Trevor, get discriminated for another reason, but that is our next time. I don't know what will be a song for Trevor. Ooh, I'm oh. to get shot. But thank you so very much, bad boy Trevor. Uh, do we have a. I need a question from a male fan. Do we have a male. Sir, the white shirt. So we're not going to keep on my very side. Oh, no, I mean, he's going to come in a little bit. Sir, in the white shirt, step forward, please. My nice Jerry. And, Jerry. and I want to take a question. Look at the satellite dish. Him call me and tell me to look and mix up them. I want to Jamaica. I also want to take a question. I want to ask a question from social media as well, because I know her fans are there. Sir, go ahead, please. What's your name? Um, My name is Akim, but I'm a younger artist. My name, my artist name is Platinum. Speaking from a younger artist perspective, um, do you plan on starting your own record label? Since what you have been through, you don't want a young artist like me to go through it. So, you plan on starting your own record label? I already started my own record label. The name of it is Spice Official Entertainment. And, and what are the um? Tanika is here. Where's Tanika? Where's it's Tanika? Tanika is here. One of the first young artists that I'm trying to push out to the world. So I already started my record label, and All this right. is it's Tanika, and she's here. She's also here with me. 
Spice Official Entertainment is the name of it. And speaking of that, my record label is the producer for 80% of the songs on Captured Mixtape. I produce them myself. Wow, round of applause. And by the way, this is Spice, it's Tanika. May I also ask, because we don't just want to. We're flying. Like, you know. We don't just want to hear about um, Captured. We want to buy Captured. Where yes. can we get it to purchase now? Spice Official is my name. And all you have to do is click the link in my bio. And it leads you to all platform, anywhere you, whether you have iPhone, Android, just click the link in my bio, Spice Official. Everybody. It's available on all platforms, all digital outlets. Well, everybody tonight, I'm charging all of us to go on our phones and start the support from here. Let's all make Captured Go platinum, make it sell. So till Chef has, hello, Chef, support, support the, music. the music the right way. Don't just download it and get it for free and bootleg it. Let us, let us buy it. The same we buy the rapper them own, Jay Z them own, all of them own. Let us support Spice. Have to send them off on YouTube. Yeah, and that's support too. the music the right way. Amen. And speaking of that, I also want to elaborate because they talk about that, but they talk about this. Remember them say me black, I'm this, I'm that, I'm a that I'm a comfort. Please note that Captured took Bob Marley off of the number one spot. We don't need to talk about that. Oh, wow. That's I said so nice. Bob Marley. Because I didn't know that Bob Marley was in the number one spot until I see Captured go there. I'm going to make a screenshot. I'm going to say Bob Marley, they are number two. So I'm going to say, me, little Gracie, me. So, more of the people them for know so they can talk about that. And say, what is this? What? You buy two of the album, see it here. She calls me she asks me for my album. I say, I buy one for me and one for somebody in here. Who wants the album? No, because I can't buy the album from Jamaica. So, I support her. See money, huh? US dollar, you say one. See it here? See it here, my God. I asked her if she buy the album. She said, Jamaica now have iTunes, you cannot buy the album from you, so she come with our money. We collect and she come too. with our US. Tamika, have our album so, collecting. Tamika, you have your calculator. <laughs> you have everything. You're ready. Good. It's well, for $9, so I owe you $2 if you want to. $9.18, so more $2 US. We'll keep no it. problem. We'll Tip the man there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tip thank you, Sparky, baby. All thank right, you. thank you, Sparky. Yes, Perry, I have a Perry. question. Perry. All right, so, um, a lot of people don't know this side of Spice, Grace Hamilton. Um, she's very self-aware and of course she's very self-conscious of what's happening around the world. Now you did a song entitled Black Hypocrisy and back in the day you also did a song called Dear Honorable. Now my question to you is, are there any other social issues that you feel passionate about that you might want to pursue in song? Um, there's so much. Should I start listing them or should I keep them a secret? Because well, if an artist there, I don't want to teeth my idea and I <laughs> that. We also know you're all for woman empowerment. <laughs> yeah, I'm all for woman empowerment. There's so many other issues. But one thing I, th I think I really want to sing about is the current thing that's happening in Jamaica right now. And I think when I'm overseas, I get a call every three days as somebody died or you know we're losing people that we love too much and the crime is going up and i think my next song is going to be spice of prime minister yeah. you heard it here first so i'm going to attack all the issues that's happening within my country i think that's going to be my next song spice of prime so minister into, yes make some noise yeah. we're going to take three more questions one from a fan and two from uh, media practitioners. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I want to perform for the people. They must start going. Remember, That's coming right up. They're not busy if the media they are. Me, I go. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead with your question, please. I back in at the chair. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead with your question, please. Uh, my name is Zinya. Yes. And I'm a really big fan of these spices. Thank you so Can much. Can I please take a picture with you? <laughs> Sure you can. Sure you Let can. Let please, security. The girl wants a picture. Make sure come. I know Let what it means please. to travel from so far. And you just want a picture. Tall man, carry this young lady in for me, please. One second, please. One more question. Or just let me, let me just want ask this male. Let me just ask this so. male. All right, here the question. Go All ahead, right, sir. So, um, um, Hello, good night. I'm Roshan. Roshka. Hi, Roshan. Hi, Roshka. Me and you were supposed. Yeah. We were supposed to do something. Okay. All right. So. Um, a lot of people are saying that they notice that other female artists who are lighter skin are getting a lot 
more support in you're corporate not a job. No, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, hold on, hold on. Did you experience any sort of discrimination, do you believe, based on color in corporate Jamaica? If I experience any form? Y yes, tell the truth, come on. Do you think that if you were lighter, you would be more, have more corporate sponsors? You know, that period set me up. <laughs> you know what? Um, will you be tell the truth? You know... <laughs> Well, you have Speroni. Yes, yeah, the big up Speroni. Shout out to Speroni. Um, I've been in the business for over a decade. Speroni is the only um, corporate that you know worked with me, and that's why I was pushing their brand so extremely hard. Um, do I believe if I was light, I would get more corporate sponsor? Yes, I believe so. Amen. Um, do I believe I would get more support from corporate world? Yes, I believe so. Um, I don't want to elaborate too much, and I see them saying, talk the truth, Ray, 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 but like I said, colorism do exist in Jamaica, and I feel like if I was a lighter skin, then I would be more marketable. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. All right, well, we're keeping it real, but of course, being diplomatic at the same time, not a problem. One more question, please, media young lady. Hello, good night, twice. Sharita Brazil from the Star. Yes. Um, so Sharika, Lord Jesus, everything at me, you call me. Yes, <laughs> Sharika. Yes, Are you in your Sharika? Good girl. Everything at me, you call me. Okay, so um, when the song dropped, of course, it shook up the entire world. Um, but there are persons out there, I know I've personally heard the feedback. Um, so the mixtape is there. Black Hypocrisy is on the mixtape. Do you think there is a disconnect between the other songs that, that's on the mixtape? mixtape and black hypocrisy since it was sending a positive message and other songs you know you're back to your report report no i don't think there's any disconnection because like i said my fans know me for being me and spice and giving them the slack songs they already know genie i go out and i perform genie and they're already singing genie they already know um most of the songs cool it them cool it cool it down cool it cool it down they already know other songs, so I mean that was just an opener. Every album have a titled song, and I think that was just the titled song. And they're going to take time out to, to know the rest of the songs because that what they know Spice for. So I don't think there's going to be any disconnect between the other songs. And like I said, the mixtape itself already hit number one, so they are purchasing. Thank you, Smurf Gang, Smurfette. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Uh, yes, baby, come picture. Where where are you from? Chicago. The Windy City, go ahead, baby. Made up for that. So everybody, I don't want one picture too. She don't want to leave on my Come on, Kevin, make yourself useful. No matter drop the door, wait, watch your side. We don't have no insurance. We don't have never sink in my belly. Yeah, I'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank nice you. meeting you. And thanks for coming. Hope you're having fun. You're having fun in Jamaica. You enjoy the place? Yes. You're going to look at Jamaica, my friend? Yeah, all right, so all right. All right. <laughs> She find a marriage. She know what time it is. You see, her locks catch up good. But guys, <laughs> guys, I want you to make some noise for Queen Spice. I'm me to tell you, Manala, that's who are you? But I would just like to also say that when I saw the picture, I saw the title of the song, I saw the title of the mixtape, you captured all of us. And I have mad love and respect for what you've done. And a part of being an entertainer is touching those topics that other people are sometimes afraid to address. There are many people who are suffering in silence and what you have done is shed some light on it and you have given them a voice. And the voice is not just to wind up, but it is also to bring consciousness and awareness to issues that are affecting even the babies, even children. Children are growing up with low self-esteem, feeling like they're not good enough because of black hypocrisy. And I do hope that there are many people the conversation has started and I want to give you kudos for being brave enough to talk about it, to address it, and to sing about it in the very innovative and ingenious way that you have. I wish you continued success. I hope that you will continue to strive and thrive in as many ways as possible. And when the people them call you for white chicks too, you just call me as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah, your sister. Can remember say we well, got Hollywood, go shell it down. But congratulations Thank on your you success so much. and all the best. Make some noise for Spice, the Melanie Brothers. Thank you so much. Thank you. The fire on the falls here. And the fire meeting on the fire. The people that falls 
Last year on fire, careful. Thank you, ladies. So what? I'm not ready for performing yet. Uncle, what are they? What so, are they? So like, oh, go and come back. No, the good man, the man, them come off. And then, and then okay. let me go to my intro. Right, okay. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. A performance time. Now, are you ready for go on? No. You ready for go on? No. Who ready for party? I know. You could have 
grab your big ass before she go home. So we don't know our party we could be to play music and we want to have fun and get some refreshments and enjoy ourselves and let me come you want your body right. We don't want to read him. We don't want to read him. Because she want your body right. You want your big ass. And the world, our world kept her in the world, you know? She want your body right. Don't you body right? Hard to go eat, that's why me a scream. If I go down, I'm sick here for turn. Hard to go eat, that's why me a... And I sing like there is a man. Pum, 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 like your color. Pum, 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 like a lamb, she sees la pussy fat, like one of them a for shoulder. Pum, pum, the body, pum, the belly look like tifa. Me no one up a kill it like Vegas finger. No! Me do, pum, pum, the body like... Why no me do, pum, pum, the body like pum, pum, the belly is cause my pussy pretty like shit in a face. Like a genie, for me just open sesame. 
towel or some napkin. Let me see me so all the while. I work, me I work, me have to sweat. Remember me a human being. Hold it right there. There's a song uncaptured. It's called Romantic Mood. That's your song. I hear you want that. Well, uh, someone from the media asked me a question about in the 80s. I said, I never born them time, so I never ask me. I never born, but I never want to And so this song called Romantic Mood, I'm paying homage to the queens before me. The women who led and paved the way to dance on so that I could have a career today. And I'm going back in at the 80s. I go from where it start from. And when I talk about back in the 80s, I talk about female who started like Althea and Donna. You know these names? Yeah. You know, ladies are? Yeah. You know, in the 2000s. Well, I'm teaching you something tonight. I'm going back to the roots of where dancers started for female. I'm telling you about Althea and Donna, Dan Penn, Sister Charmian, Sister Nancy. Me have come back down in the era of Patra. You know Patra, though, right? The, pe the women and the females who started it. And this one is called Romantic Mood. Big up all of the women before me. Drop it. chicken. Do you know roast duck? What about the man beside you? Do you know what is a roast duck? Roast duck is a bad fuck. You want to learn about it? TC. 
TC. Because them young girls don't know position and style, you know. You want to show them the roast duck. So when them go home, them can practice the roast duck. Up and show that job, so back shot, please, that laps in the front, and that roast up in the water, that I Chiching not there tonight, but he's in the video. All of the dancers are around on the back, yes, so big up on the set. I don't know if you want to come on the stage, you always support me on the, the street with me. I love you to death. We have, you're not ready for the body right. That's how you mix up, and the artist, them name you want here. I'm not ready for the body right. But we have the video, the official video for this song. Now I'm going to sing the final song for tonight. 
And after this song, Sparky Baby's gonna take it away with the entire mixtape songs from Captured. I don't know how she gonna mix it. We don't know how she gonna put it together. But for the rest of the night, she's gonna play some songs from Captured. Big ass, genie, cool it, under fire, soft. So we can dance with Uno party tonight. We can move yes. yeah. And I wanna make sure everybody get their picture. I wanna post this up, not get no picture. Yeah. But this is the last song for the performance. And this song is for Captured. Before I do this song, I wanted to, it's the first intimate sentence for a long while I've had with you. So I want to take this moment to share a little bit of my story with you to this point so you can feel what I feel. So you can know why I call my mixtape Captured. So you can know why I sing this song and how much it means to me. Play me low just like that. You don't have to stop. I come from a community called Road Brayton, Crystal Lane in Tokwon. When I was nine years old, my father died. And when he died, left my siblings, four of my siblings and I, behind. My mother was pregnant at the time when he died. With my little sister who's here on stage with me, Fenice. My father was the breadwinner for the family. And so one could only imagine what happened after he died and left all of us behind. There were times I wanted to go to school. There was no food, no money. And I used to walk from Windsor Road to St. Catherine High School because I was determined, because I wanted to make it, because I saw the separation, saw what mom was going through. And so I pressed on. Going to St. Catherine High School, I tell my son who I have today that I went with no books. And whenever I got homework, I would stay back and I'd have to write out from someone else's book, pages after pages. So I did that on my own. I had many reasons to say I, would, I wouldn't go to school. Some of you in here might have been struggling or may be struggling even right now. I want to say to you, don't give up. Fight it, because you can do it. And you can make it no matter what. I came from St. Catherine High School one day and my house was gone. I lost my home in fire. Everything was gone. I only had one shoes, which was what I was wearing. One socks, one uniform, my bag on my back. Everything was gone. We started over from scratch. Struggled. My mother used to sell. I used to go home. I helped her sell. It was very hard for me. But I press on and I fight it. Just the other day you saw a video of me going around when I was about 15 or 16 years old. I was DJing, very lyrical, trying to make it into this business. My major hit song was in 2009, Rampin' Shop with Five Cartel. <laughs> Fight Over Man was 2003. <laughs> but the major one who caught the world's attention internationally was Rampin' Shop. I signed a record deal at that time with BP Records. I was so excited and I thought that that was it for me. That I would make my big breakthrough, that I would put out an album, five record deals, five album deals, I'm sorry. It's now going to 2019, from 2009. And until this date, they've never released an album with me. Years after years, 
I visit them with lawyers. I beg for my release. I push on, I press on, I do it by myself, no manager. Just putting out songs on my Instagram page. Radio stations don't really play my songs here in Jamaica. Because sometimes they say one word is off, or it's too slack, or it's not suitable for the radio. So I use my phone, and I promote my songs by myself on my Instagram pages, and I email them out. Now one can only imagine how I feel, not able to put out an album after doing so much, after struggling so much, and I just want to release an album so my fans can have an album from me. Because I won't be doing this forever. Sooner or later, I'm going to get older. I mean, now I can't walk and skin out the pum pum for the rest of my life. So I want to be able to give my fans something of substantial. And this is why I dedicated this song to VP Records. Because this is how I feel. I feel captured. And this is the title song for my mixtape.
Pelper Time TV, you know the movie star flight take off from the day. I'm 100. You know a spice mixtape launch captured. I'm here to tell us three, three, capture the place. The nation under fire. Oh, I go on spice. Pelper Time, yeah. Right time, my day I know, and I'm at my launch party, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited. The people, the people, them happy, and, and you know, I'm celebrating. You have the right to celebrate the energy. I come out. How you feel about tonight? I feel good because at the end of the day, I did it for the fans. I did it back for the people and also so that they could enjoy the captured mixtape. So like I said, I feel good. And tell the fans and the viewers them straight and the fridge and the buffet and the whatnot, them straight and the entertainment center, not only fans, them everything at the house. Tell them what the real reason for tonight's event. The real reason behind it is um, that I have the captured um, mixtape that is out. So this is the launch party. I wanted to introduce a few other songs to my fans. I wanted to give back to them. I gave them some of the mixtape. Um, the titled song on the project is called Captured. And that's how I feel by VP Records. I feel captured. And so that's what the, the reason behind the captured um, song on the project. The real reason behind this event, after big up Apelos Entertainment, who is the title sponsor, um, the distributor for the product, they're also the title sponsor for tonight's event. So big up Apelos Entertainment, big up Malaika, and I have to take time out to big up Kara Wilson, who is the person, the mastermind behind this event for tonight. Um, she did an absolutely amazing job. I don't know how she did it, um, because I myself was surprised when I came here. So Kara Wilson, I have to say thank you so much. The, re the, the, the one of the mastermind behind tonight's event. So Spice, what's the next move after leaving here tonight? Or should I say this morning? You know what? After leaving here, me and Team Spice dancers, we're going out. We're going to have fun. We're going to celebrate because, like I said, the mixtape hit number one on the USA Reggae High Tunes chart. It hit number one on the USA um, re re um, Reggae chart in the UK and the USA. It's doing extremely well. I'm in a happy spirit. I'm feeling good. I'm proud of myself. I love my fans. I want to go out. I want to mingle. I haven't been in Jamaica for a while. So, I go ready, ready. I go down. So, I go run. So, Kevin, I care. I go up. So, down. So, run. So, what everywhere we are go, so I'm just celebrating right now and I'm feeling happy and I'm, I'm in a good mood. All about captured boom, Pelpa Time TV hot spice going out hot, hot. We do a video recently, downtown. How you feel about the video? How you like it? You know what? Um, the people them downtown. I don't know if I can grow down there, but I used to go down to and buy my local clothes and get in my local scandal bag and go on with myself. They're happy for me. They love me. They know my journey. They know where I come, they know where I come from. And so they're going to show me love regardless. So lots of people who say, oh, they're going to praise the bleaching or whatever. I don't care about that. They love me. They're happy. Whatever skin I'm in, you have fans who have been saying it. It don't matter. I love you for who you are. I love you for, for that person. So I love my downtown people. They love my fans them from downtown. I used to down there buy my clothes. I from Pernal Charles Arcade. Go right back. I used to support them. I mean, I still go downtown. That's where I shot romantic mood. Downtown, Pandekiat. 
that's me. I can't do no better. I have to be real. So, big up downtown people, them and my fans, them and all of the girls, them and the eagle, them from Pernell Charles go right back down to the lane there from round so down so. Yeah, remember I used to come down on the roadside, come do the week, them and fix them. Mm -hmm. I don't forget where I come from. So, I love the downtown people, them, to death. Yeah, the woman said, don't forget where you come from. Spice, dance all queen. Big up our fans and our fridge and our entertainment center. Spice. <laughs> Big, big man thing, Pelper Time TV, Fly Take Off, the movie star, Spice. Your next show, where the people can see you, performing. Because you mash up the place in the night time, you can see the people them love the show. You know. So tell the fans them when again they can see a performance like this. I, you know what, in December I have two shows per week, um, so I'll be all over. May I go from parish to parish. I don't remember the exact places and dates. You know, Ray Alexander is the one in charge of that. But I have two shows every week, right back to December, and them in a Jamaica. So they're going to see me all over Jamaica. Thank you so much for having me. Big up yourself. Spice Official is the name. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Click the link in my bio. Support. Mixtape. Capture this out. Big up the whole of my fans. Them and all of the people them where they support me. Tanika, big up yourself. Kevin, you know you have the streets like TC, Rebel, Pretty Pretty. The whole Team Spice, Extreme Arts. Real Alexander, big up my makeup artist, Cassania Malcolm, makeup J.A., big up Nasworthy Creation, Power Circle Family, big up on yourself, who else is here? Kara Wilson, big up yourself, Melio, big up yourself, Talman, big up yourself, Apollos Entertainment, the, the fridge and the fan and the whatnot and the entertainment center, everybody, all of the fans, them Smurf gang, Smurf it, the whole lot of big up on yourself, my love on a like life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boom! Dance all Queen Spice, up move at the back and the cup move, Pelpa Time TV, movie star flight take off. This a the style, yes a this a the style, Pelpa Time, me a tell you, this a the style. Hear me now, it's all about Pelpa Time, keep it locked, Spice say that. Mm -hmm. The boy a catch me pan the corner pan me head All he must send it me a ball me out for dead The boy a beat he like a hammer pan the lead The way he bun me tear the sheet up on the bed Under fire me wool under fire 